Hey there, Heidi Cooper here, functional medicine practitioner, licensed esthetician from Skin Side Out. So you have changed your diet, you have changed your skincare routine, and you still have acne, maybe even cystic acne that's being persistent and so challenging, and you just can't get to the root of it. This video is for you if that's the case. So, so many people that are referred to me are in this situation and they've read a lot of different things online and they've changed up their diet and they've cleaned up their diet, which is huge. But I always like to share with my clients that that's only a piece of the puzzle. There's this saying that you won't get well without changing the diet, but the diet alone won't get you well. So one of the things that I try to focus on with my clients that are suffering with severe cystic acne is when we take, say, dairy, gluten, and sugar out of the diet, that just lowers the inflammatory burden on the body and therefore helps reduce some of the inflammation with the skin. However, that may not be the entire source of why that cystic acne situation is going on. So I have been in the skincare industry for over 20 years. And it started when I was a teenager, I had really severe cystic acne challenges. And so this was over 30 years ago that this was, um, that this started for me. And back then we really could make some dietary tweaks and changes and it really would really have a significant impact on the skin. And I really started noticing that probably 12, 12 years ago, maybe a little bit more, um, that some of those dietary changes just weren't having the same effect and same impact on my clients that they were previously. And the reason is, is we're living in the most toxic time in history. There are so many things that we're bombarded with environmentally that we don't have a ton of control over. Um, even things that have happened to the food supply have really done a number on creating a lot of issues for us. So all of that to be said, there can be different reasons, a different source as to why um, that cystic acne or that acne situation may be going on for you. And so it's really important to understand that really the only common denominator that all acne situations have is that they're a physical presentation or manifestation of some sort of internal imbalance or health challenge that's going on. Now, one of the favorite things that I like to do, my favorite things that I like to do in my practice is really unpack where that's coming from. And we kind of have to play detective a little bit to find out why that's going on for an individual. And um, you can have five people with cystic acne and five entirely different reasons as to why that acne is presenting itself. It could be a hormonal imbalance for one person. It could be um, food sensitivities or just gut issues for another person. And what I really like to explain to my clients is, is that even if it is hormonal issues, there can be a gut component to it. When we look at things from a functional medicine or a holistic perspective, they all kind of tie in together. So I always encourage people to really look at some lab work to get a better idea of where some of that's coming from. And that doesn't necessarily have to be a huge investment. One of the things that I like to look at with my clients is just a basic CBC that you can get from your doctor. And um, if you don't have one of those, it's really inexpensive to do. It's about $20 to run a basic CBC. I can put a link to a lab that we use below. And there's some really great information that we can find even from that basic CBC to help us dig a little bit deeper and really find out where some of the source of this acne manifestation is coming from for you. So um, I hope that was some helpful information for you. You know, I've seen people struggle and get all of this information off of the internet, which I always explain information is not transformation. It's not necessarily specific to what's going on in your situation. So you may have changed diet or skincare products, which are really important pieces of the puzzle, but they're really only a fraction of the puzzle. You never really get full resolution from a, some of those skincare challenges and those acne situations until you really you know, do a deep dive into why those um, situations are presenting on the skin in the first place. So we really like to find out why um, you're having those issues and get full resolution there. And, um, and education is transformation. So education to what's particular in your situation is really gonna be the transformational component for what's going on in your situation. So 
If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. I've got some great information. We really look at things on a cellular level, you know, healthy cells make healthy organs, make healthy systems. And so it has this cascading effect, certainly on what's going on in the skin, but the entire body when we take that approach and look at things from that perspective. So um, if you're looking for answers in the new year and you are, have exhausted some of these other things that you've looked into, please feel free to reach out and we can get you um, set up to do a deep dive and really find out why that cystic acne or acne situation is going on for you. So. If this was helpful for you, please like and share this post. Please feel free to reach out. Health and happiness. Have a super fantastic day. Thanks so much.